If you're having trouble with dizziness, your doctor may send you to have vestibular testing. The most common type of testing is called a VNG, or video nystagmography. This test battery has a few different components, all of which, though, involve us watching your eye movements. In some conditions, your eyes may be just following a target, and we're making sure that they can do so within a expected range of normal. Other times, we're looking for conditions like positional vertigo, or BPPV, or any effects that the neck may have on your dizziness. The most common test that people are aware of, and that is most commonly done, is called the caloric test. This test has been around for over 100 years and is considered to be the gold standard for vestibular testing. When we're getting ready for this test, the patient is reclined back into a, a 30 degree uh, position. Sarah's going to be in the dark, but her eyes have to remain open. And we're going to use air to irrigate the ears. That means we're going to change the temperature of your ears. The inner ears are filled with fluid. So changing the temperature allows us to create a bit of a convection current, which tricks the ears into thinking that you're moving. When the ears think you're moving, we get a reflex that we can record through our goggles. That reflex is called nystagmus. From there, you may also feel like you're moving. Some people don't feel much of anything. Others may feel like they're rocking or on a boat. Other people do feel like they're turning or spinning. Any of that is completely normal. I'm causing it, I mean for that to happen. So let's take a look at what this response looks like and how it's done. We'll be doing a test on Sarah's left ear using warm air. The air goes into the ear for one minute and during that minute, she may start to feel a sense of dizziness. During that time, we may also start to see some eye movements or nystagmus on our computer screen. Eyes nice and big. At the end of one minute, we'll continue to record. This is considered to be the peak of the response. And so in this situation, the patient may feel some dizziness. How are you feeling? Kind of dizzy. <laughs> Very good. That's completely normal. Uh, we fully expect there to be some dizziness with this task. Uh, that tells me that the ear is working as it's supposed to and that we're getting a good response from the ear. And in just a few seconds, I'll turn on a dot to help Sarah come down from that sense of motion. That helps to stabilize the eyes and bring her back to the baseline. And from here, we've reached two minutes of recording. Give you a little bit of vision so you can see where you are. And then wait three to five minutes before we do the other side. Most of the time, we'll start with warm irrigations, just at a temperature slightly above your body temperature. And then we'll move to cool irrigations just to confirm our results. From there, we create an asymmetry to determine if there's any difference between your ears that could tell us where the problem in your vestibular system may be. This is the most important test that we do in the vestibular lab and the one that you're most likely going to encounter if you're referred to vestibular testing.